So I'm here in Luxembourg now, you see, it's all Portuguese here. A pyramid in it. Because the Templars fleet, it went to Portugal and Scotland. Uh, Tomar, it's a big Templars castle. So 50% of the uh, of the Luxembourg, Luxembourgians here, this is Luxembourg, you see the L. Uh, that means, it doesn't mean learner. And 50% uh, are Portuguese. And then another 20% are Italians. So it's only 30% are real Luxembourgians who speak actually German. And uh, so the Duke, uh, Henry, he doesn't mind, you know, if his, uh, if his commoners, if they are like, you know, Italians or Portuguese or whatever, because it's them and the rest of the world, the Duke, the aristocracy, Pharaoh. And, uh, yeah, right next to the Petra station. And uh, this is called a, um, a constitutional monarchy. Yeah. It's them we're after. Well, actually, they're more after us. You know, in Luxembourg, you see all these fancy cars here, you know. It's very rich. They've got the highest wage wages in all of Europe. Because the whole financial institutes, they have all shifted from Switzerland to here. Because the Duke said, you know, well, we are the aristocracy. We never paid any taxes, so why should we? You know, all the fancy houses, you know. And, um, well, you know, if there's only 30% of the real Luxembourgians, like, left, yeah, that means they don't rule the country. The Europeans have got nothing to say. It's the bloody aristocracy, the pharaohs. They rule the entire thing, eh? There's no Jews here. It's the Duke. Come on. Jukey, Jukey. Even though I keep my turns, I'm having my own part here. It's a 6.4 French beer, really nice. You know, the thing is with beer, if you drink alcohol, you know, together with like, uh, with your scoff, with your food, it paralyzes your, um, the uh, digestion, you know, the, the acids and all that. And you get fat, you know, it doesn't digest anymore. So you just do like a homeless and, um, you know, until you get really thirsty, until you get your money together, like at two o'clock in the afternoon or one o'clock in the afternoon, you fast, you don't drink, you don't eat, and then you take your beer, preferably like in the summer. Well, you're real thirsty, huh? or after the uh, the walking. So this is interesting. Here you go, there's a whole wall, you know, with, what's it? Je suis partout, it means I'm, he um, I'm everywhere. Sweet empire. Everybody is leaving us, you know, a sticker here. The, hit the Hitchhiker's Guide. No one is illegal. What's this here? I don't know what it is. It means I exist or whatever. Pl bloody homeless, I suppose. Or whatever, art. And a lot of Dutch. Even somebody put his baby in here. Yeah, it looks kind of weird, eh? Yeah. But the thing is, what I wanted to show you. Anybody see the film King Kong, you know, or the the Hunger Games? You know, they have this this wall like this. And I was here last night, at, oh, so I needed a place, you know, to crash. It was really dark here, so I walked here. You know, King Kong is on this side, and this side is the um, oh, where's the you know royal shell? Bloody pharaohs, where's it? Bloody pharaohs, you know. It's all for the tourists. They don't even dare to cross this one here. You know, it might be King Kong on the other side or the Hunger Games. So now I walk there and then, you know, I crash in the forest. <coughs> Sorry. It reminds me of the creepy Rothschild castle. I'm going to do some hitchhiking here, eh? Really nice beer. So always, you know, I always tell you, you know, take your beer on an empty stomach. Don't mix it with food. Because then you get really fat. And you don't even feel it, you know. It's just on an empty stomach. The first thing, you know, you, you take like in the, uh, on the day. Walk first until you get a real thirsty, like a real soldier. And I like that, eh? So, you know, alcohol is just a thing. You must just know how to use it as a real man, you know. 
would be good for your Muslims as well, take some alcohol, you know. I, mean, I would explode too, you know, if I just have a little sip now and then, right? So it must be in an empty stomach. And uh, I don't mix it with food, never, ever. That's, you know, that's, um, um, yeah. It's decadent, you know. You get fat, you don't digest anymore. You take this first, run first, sport first, uh, walk with your dog first. Where is he? There he is. And um, so you get real thirsty and then take this, preferably in the summer. So you get really young and take some yin. Hey. Now really, there's one thing with alcohol. If you do consume alcohol, it's more likely, because it's yin, that you get a daughter if you have any children. If you don't consume alcohol, it's more likely you get a son. Believe me. I never drank alcohol before and I had... Uh, five sons actually. And I, because of the torture, I drank alcohol and I had a daughter. Believe me. Like Muslims, they hardly have any, you know, they don't, they, they don't have enough women, probably, you know. And in the West, you know, there's more women than men. It's because of this here. But, so, if you're young, you don't have to drink, you know. But if, you, if you're an old geezer like me, then, um, okay, it's nice to relax. And this life is pretty hard, you know, so, why not? You know, the status of a man is being set by what car he has, you know. This guy has a Merc, so he's the man, you know. Look at it, it's a Merc. And um, my car is bigger than yours, you know, these sort of things, you know. Those, usually the French, they got these old, the old wrecks like this. <laughs> this one is French. That one too. And uh, so where does this put me, eh? <laughs> the hunger wall. King Kong behind it. Well, who's the monkey here, eh? Am I the King Kong or the, is King Kong driving a big Merc? I, I mean, it's so stupid, you know. It's a bloody joke, the whole thing, eh? What a joke. What a joke.